Hello guys, what is going on? Techroom UK here. So for today's video we're gonna have a look at this mechanical keyboard called Mackinac KT68. I really really love the box, it looks, it looks great in my opinion, uh, black with purple accents. This is a hot swappable mechanical keyboard, hot swappable meaning that you can swap the switches out to whatever switches you want I think. It supports both 3-pin and 5-pin switches, but I'm not sure, but it's definitely hot swappable. It's got RGB, it's retro looking, it's got a toggle button, it's got uh, arrow keys, it's got the volume knob on the side. It, it just looks really great. I like the design of the box a lot. On the side right here it says keyboard, left and right sides is they're just purple with black accents. The back of the keyboard doesn't have a lot going on, it's just uh, some QR codes, which I don't know for what they are, but we're gonna find out soon. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and unbox this keyboard, see what we get inside. Okay guys, so I took everything out of the box, I even closed up all the lights in my room and stuff so you can see the RGB better. So we get the keyboard itself, a lot of uh, information in Chinese which I spared you from because I don't understand it. We get a wireless adapter type C on this side with uh, female type A and male type A right here I think. You can plug this straight into your... Uh, PC, but I might be wrong, you might have to use it with the dongle. The cable it's uh, type A to type C corner gold plated, so both of the connectors are gold plated, which is nice. We also get a switch puller and a keycap puller, two in one tool, because this uh, keyboard is uh, hot swappable, you can change the caps, you can change the switches, which we're gonna get to in a second. We get a plastic uh, dust cover which is nice to have because you can keep using it when you're not using your keyboard so we will stop the dust from going inside and we get the keyboard itself which uh, looks really nice in my opinion we get 68% um, layout with uh, arrow keys uh, this is the ANSI layout I think it's not the UK ISO but uh, for me it will work we get the toggle button right here we get a volume knob right here as well, so you can control the volume, you can press on it to mute and stuff like that. Type-C charging port or data port. And we get to a switch right here from cab cable to wireless. So cable to wireless, is depend it depends however you want to use it, you can use it just like so. On the back, uh, the back of the uh, keyboard it's... Uh, see-through so you can see the lights you can see everything the battery is 4000 hour milliamp hour battery we get uh, two sets of uh, uh, feet i guess so you can uh, adjust the keyboard to your desired position so you have two ways of doing that or you can just simply leave them like this we get some rubber pads on the bottom to avoid it from slipping and we get this fin like design right here which is nice as well. Uh, yeah, one of my favorite features being the fact that it's see-through and you can see the LEDs inside. So uh, to change to change the LEDs, I figured it out myself because the Chinese manual, I couldn't understand anything. You, you have to press the FN key, then the delete key. And then you will switch to a lot of RGB modes. Uh, if you want to increase the brightness, which is maximum right now, uh, you press this button if you want to decrease it the arrow down if you want to set up the speed uh, more speed will be arrow right and less speed will be arrow left so we'll get from slower to faster yeah let's leave it on this rgb mode for now yeah uh, it's a great keyboard really well built um, you can see the RGB from the from the back. It, it sounds nice as well I don't know if you guys can hear I might make a short video with another microphone, but let's give it a sound test Maybe you can hear something The backspace enter shift and the spacebar 
I think they have uh, plate mounted stab st stabilizers, sta stabilizers, whatever, how, however they call them, they say they factory looped. So what you're gonna do with the uh, with the key cap puller and the switch puller, let's say we go for the escape key and we want to change the switch. We take the escape key out, then we use this bit to take out the switch. Let me just turn off the board first. It'll be better, don't wanna short anything. So you, you put a tool like this and that's it. You can take the switch out. Uh, as you can see, they use Kali box red switches, which are good for gaming. Uh, five pin layout, but uh, I think it supports both three pin and five pin. So you can use three pin switches or five pin switches, whatever. And if you want to insert a new type of switch, I have here a box of uh, Apple Maker Bluebird switches which they look really clean and really nice. We take uh, one new switch, we, let's say we take this one. Uh, we make sure we align it with the nor positioning, nor positioning LED like, like this. And we just drop it and place it like there. And that's it, you, you just change your switch. It's that easy. Put the esc escape, key, escape key back on, that's it. That's it guys, it's, it's that simple. Now you can turn it on and just do whatever you want to do with it. Um, I'm gonna keep using this keyboard for a while. I'm gonna use it for gaming, for typing, see how it is. Uh, I'm gonna put the link into the description below if you guys wanna buy it. I think it's an offer on Amazon right now. You can buy it for 90, 100, which is really good for a keyboard with so many features. Uh, I told you my favorite being that it's see-through. It's good quality as well, Look, sounds really, really good. Let's do a closer sound test. This is the switch that I just replaced. In my opinion, sounds better. It, it, it all depends. Some people use other types of switches. Some people like clicky switches. Some people like tactile linear switches. It, it's, it's all up to you. Uh, I just wanted to let you know what this keyboard does. If you want to turn off the RGB again, um, basically press FN key and go arrow down all the way down. And that's it, RGB is off arrow up, RGB to the max level, and you can start playing, start typing, whatever you want to do. Yeah, thank you very much guys for watching, and um, I will see you in the next one.